Good morning everyone. I first wanted to start by showing you guys how I get this good morning message on my phone. A lot of people ask. You just have to set your sleep schedule through the health or clock app. Next, I get into my journaling. I love journaling. This first one I use gives you a question for every day of the year. Next, I use my standard journal. I treat this one basically like a diary. I write what's on my mind, my daily plans, goals. Another morning habit I love is affirmations. I like writing a few down in the morning. I find that it really helps with my mood. to work out a very random shirt i know it's a frat shirt if you guys know me you know i drink one of these every single day i am literally obsessed good morning everyone me and my sister are on the way to go to the gym and we're about to hit leg day which means that we're gonna go hard i got my v8 daily pre-workout it's not even pre-workout it has like 80 milligrams of caffeine and celsius has like 200. i've been using this face ice roller thing in the mornings for like five to ten minutes and i feel like it's been helping my bloating and it also wakes you up so i highly recommend and it's like nine dollars I just came back home. I showered, as you can tell. Now I'm gonna make my breakfast. I am making a papaya smoothie bowl. I have one of these literally every single day. They're so fun to eat. Papaya helps you digest. Papaya is yummy. The smoothie's great. You get protein in. I typically drink my greens before I eat anything for the day, but I wanna make a green smoothie, so I'm just gonna put it in my smoothie. I just started using this one. Not sponsored, but this is amazing. A papaya bowl? A papaya? A papaya? It's kind of hard to show. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna go eat it outside because I've also been loving eating outside recently. my papaya bowl so now i'm gonna get ready i'm gonna get started on some of my makeup one of my summer goals were to save one day a week to take myself on like a little day day just do something fun that i enjoy today is gonna be that day i personally love spending time by myself i think it's really important for me and everyone in general to carve out time for yourself i just feel like growing as a person and learning more about yourself is a lot easier if you spend more time with yourself by spending time with yourself you are able to get to know yourself yourself a little bit better maybe go try a new restaurant by yourself go shopping and it also kind of just makes you feel like the main character because you feel independent and you're doing things by yourself anyways i'm gonna shut up now and do my makeup I just finished 
finished getting ready i finished my makeup and then i changed you can't see but i'm wearing denim shorts this is such a basic go-to outfit for me we have a few stops to make so i'm very excited we're gonna go around do some fun things the plan as of right now which will probably change go to the library go to the mall and then hopefully some sort of like car maybe a farmer's market i have no idea how much of these items we're gonna do yeah let's go just got my books from the library and I got three. First, I got Fix Her Up. Next, I got The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren. I've read a book by this author. I am obsessed with books by them. So it's these two girls. Their pen name is Christina Lauren. They're writing partners and I have loved every single book that I've read by them. Highly recommend. The last book is One Italian Summer. I thought this was perfect because it's currently the summer. Again, I have read a book by this author. I read In Five Years, another great book. I will let you guys know what I think about these. We made it! I am really happy that we made it here safely because first of all, it's my first time driving here. Second of all, I got in a car accident a few days ago, so I was literally like shitting my pants as I was driving. Anyways, we made it to the mall. Let's go shopping. I'm probably not gonna buy like anything, but let's go. I just finished at the mall and like I expected, I did not get a lot at all. Honestly, I feel like it's just fun to look around. Window shop, you know. I just got two things from Ping. First, I got this fragrance spray. This is the Warm and Cozy. I use this, I'm probably down to like here in my other bottle. I also got this honey lotion. Again, this is something I regularly use. I don't know if you guys know about the Urban Outfitter Surplus store. Everything that they sell is on sale. It's just extra stuff they have, but it is really close by to where I am right now, so I wanted to go and check it out see if I could find anything good I've only been there one time I did get an Ariana Grande tour sweatshirt for $5 I've been a blow up the sex in a Surprise! I actually got something. I got three things for $12, which is actually so crazy for Urban Outfitters. Let me show you guys what I got. First, I got this beaded necklace. Cute. This was literally $2 and everything was 50% off at the end, so it was a dollar. Then I got this BDG oversized sweater. It has like this type of lining. It's basically just a black sweater and then the sides have slits. I got this for $10 with 50% off was $5. Originally, it was $59. And last Lastly, I got this pink fuzzy cardigan. It's so soft. This again was $10, originally $59. I went to the Buffalo Exchange across the street, but they did not have that good stuff and the things were really expensive. A random tank top, like bad material used, was $15 when across the street you could literally get brand new urban clothes for $5. I was in there for like two minutes and then I walked out. Now I'm gonna go home. Just kidding guys, I am not gonna go home. I'm gonna go get dinner. I'm gonna go get kava. I'm so excited. I love Kava so much. You guys, a literal hour later and we made it. An hour. It took an hour. Let's go get some food. I just finished kava. It was delicious per usual. So I just got home and I got a bunch of packages. I think it's because I ordered workout clothes from Amazon. So I'm gonna try them on for you guys. I already started trying things on. These are the first pair of shorts, purple shorts. I like, I don't even wanna show you guys the next ones cause they're so bad. Why? 
Um, one out of ten. Next, this is regular. This is them folded a little bit. Has a little butt scrunchy. Three out of five. Okay, these leggings are next. Um, this area not looking too good. I'm gonna give it a 0.5 out of five because the color is carrying everything else about it is not good. Here's a little set moment. I feel like then it looks too high up on my waist. TBH not vibing with it as much as I thought I was gonna. I'll give it a 2.5 out of five. The idea was there. I don't think it's for me. Here's a sports bra. I actually really like this, but I like when my sports bras are a little bit looser. This is a tad bit tight. I really like the design. 4.5 out of five. Again, I might order this a size up, but look how cute. Love this one. Look at the back. This is your guys' sign to go buy workout clothes from Amazon. Or not, based off of if you liked them on me or not. If you liked them, go get them. My sister just came home from work, so we are taking the dogs to the park. <laughs> Augie, it's okay. Okay guys, that is the end of my vlog. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you guys in my next video. Playing in the sand till it turn to gold. Bite his hands, but we all grow old. Can't have my soul, let my heart turn stone. Guess I gotta say it twice, it ain't my